Me llamo Manuel Quirarte, soy el papá de, de Gaben, el GOAT. Pues le gustan los chivos y las cabritas y todo eso. Entonces la gente lo empezó a llamar como el GOAT. He played soccer, he did all of those things, and then we got hit Valentine's Day of 2020 with him saying that his legs hurt. That night, about 5.30 p.m., he hollered for us, mommy, daddy, come to the bathroom, my pee-pee is brown. And that's kind of where everything started. Like, our world stopped, basically. We saw our pediatrician the next day. She did labs. She said, wait for my phone call, I'll call you and let you know what's gonna happen. She called me at about 4.30 p.m. And she told us that he was gonna be admitted to the hospital. The official diagnosis that Gavin indeed had Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a muscle wasting disease. It is fatal, there is no cure. And he's the only child with his type of Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Buscar siempre tener lo que va a pasar muy presente, pero vivir el momento al 100%. Cada paso no sabes cuándo va a ser su último paso. Es difícil como papá, es difícil. Por México, crecí con el Teletón. Cuando vi el CRID, Gabe no estaría en un mejor lugar. Saben exactamente lo que Gabe tienen. Todas sus terapias están enfocadas para su beneficio. So shortly after he was diagnosed, I had a guy reach out to me on a DMD forum. His name is Jeff. Riot is his biker name. And he's a prolonged distance motorcycle rider. He goes, I want Gavin to do my tattoo. So Gavin learned how to tattoo at seven years old in, at a biker rally with a whole bunch of big old burly guys covered in tattoos, and he loved every minute of it. We were just welcomed with open arms with all of these guys and treated like kings and queens. And we became friends after that. Knowing that next year at this time, it's very possible he will not be walking. We asked him if there was anything he wanted to do this year before that happened. His, his wish, he wanted to see every Harley dealership in Texas. He told a little over 3,700 miles. And together, we kind of all decided, yeah, you know what, he can do this. They have gone as far as coming to therapy with Gavin to make sure that Gavin knows how to stretch and be able to fully experience everything and they were shown and put through what Gavin goes through every day at therapy. Come on, Gavin, come on. Alexia, Gavin's therapist, she put everything together for what they needed to take care of to make sure that Gavin was gonna be 100% okay. Can you it up? We're only gonna do it three times and we'll get started. He was happy to have us there. He likes having us around. Oh, just like that. So we're they're his best friends. They're his big brothers and sisters. They have covered every precaution absolutely necessary to make sure that Gavin is going to maintain on this ride and can handle the ride. After touring the facility, I thought this should be in every, every city across the country. They do amazing work and really benefit kids that really need, need something like this. Yeah. incredible time to ride with Gavin we, and we rode for 700 miles a day and had an incredible experience. I know lots of adults who couldn't pull this off. The only boy I know that has this condition at his age that can do something like this and I attribute that to the therapy he gets. Without that, it's just not possible. You know, to have a wish do something, you pick this, it's cool. You know, one second. It's sad to know what's coming, but it's a great feeling to do this for him, so it's well worth it. Yeah. Best, best week I've had as a biker by far. 
I've done a lot of crazy stuff. I've done a lot of miles. Nothing is compared to this. You know, when your, your days are numbered, you kind of let him live his life to the fullest. You see that he hasn't stopped laughing, he hasn't stopped giggling. He's on an adventure of a lifetime that most people will never experience. Si vamos a tener Gavin aquí en este mundo por 5, 10, 15 años, que sean sus mejores 10, 5, 15 años. Cada día que cuente, al 100%.